saw something, felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Felt like I was dying. Well, he swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. I just had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just. I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. So, Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. Are you going to stay down and go to other people? Or do you know I So, initially I wasn't going to play it for my channel, I just saw it being played by a couple of people on YouTube and the game looked really fun to play but I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to do it for my channel, maybe somewhere far down the line when I do, when I do get time to play something in my spare time, I'll maybe pick up this game. But then the little puppets, they came annoying into my brain and um... They were kind of nagging me and it was just like in the back of my mind saying play it so here we are my friendly neighborhood doing it for the channel um it does look like a lot of fun to get into i'm not a person for puppets i don't like puppets especially the man-sized puppets that you know the people can get into and walk around yeah i don't like those they creep me out beyond i think we're gonna have fun, some fun too so let's hop into it Okay, last job of the day. What's this one about? It's got such a good voice. Uh, Sprocket Palm Property Management Work Order Request. Client City Network Broadcasting Group Property 123 Sunrise Street. Date 8th July 1993. Yeah, that's two years before I was born. Uh, crewman assigned Gordon J. O'Brien. Description of problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night. Uh, vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervisor Signature J, note Crimin O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. Oof. So he's not re like he's good at his job, he's just a bit rude. Okay, um, what do we do now? Ah, okay. Oh, I missed the little instruction on the right, my bad. Uh, glove compartment? <gasps> Chalk is a, mm, a chalky. Can we close it back up? No. <laughs> oh, I'm not eating that. That's been there for days. Ew, dude, then clean out your car. Got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. Okay. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. Disabled antenna. Hmm. Oh, it's up there. Last job of the day is always the worst. The last job of today is always the worst. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Uh, if you 
it referring to this? Oh, it is an elevator. Like, what of this makes it seem like it's working? Ooh. Is this glue? Some strong ass glue. Bring me. These look like Bring strawberries. Me. Okay. <laughs> look at my hand! It looks so huge. It sounds like it's farting. <laughs> Raise the curtain, bring up the lights. The neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. He's okay. so cute. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? <laughs> yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. no you no, mustn't no. do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you ain't here and I'll- <clears throat> And I'll, uh- <clears throat> I'll get you, I'll get you some <laughs> oh, that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. <laughs> um okay then. Oh, so cute. So do you think he do you think he regurgitated this card on purpose for us or was it just unplanned? And if there's no people around, who's controlling him? That was... special. <laughs> it's certainly different than most other places. Or did they just... So do you think initially people would be wearing these costumes? For TV, and now they kind of just the costumes have come haunted. Or is it like a animatronic type puppet? Hey! Hey! Who's that? Now I was being a little bit sneaky, and I saw an achievement in the achievements list that said Gordon leaves early. <laughs> so I just want to try this. No? So I wonder how we make him leave early then. Hmm. I'll keep coming back and trying the truck. Although I am a... Oh, but we obviously can save and everything. So we'll save and then try leave. Because I want to get that achievement. I want to know how we can make him leave early. I know sometimes I go and check the achievements before playing a game. Just so that I can see like what I need to kind of do for achievements. If this was locked, how... Where did the other puppet go? Not the other... Yeah, the, well, the puppet running dude. The City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. Okay, so this was a number of years before. Television's Friendly New Neighborhood, review of My Friendly Neighborhood by Richard Lightsbury. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool-aged children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on the titular Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets, who, with the help of adults like Stevie, which is played by Richie Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's casual term for age-old lessons about caring... Um, Shows casual term for age old lessons by caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung onto with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends on independent public access television, the series and creator Al uh, 
Jillswold were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group and production moved to the historic City Network Hotel Studio on the west side. The move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by, and then the rest is unintelligible. Oh, look! So that's the dude we just saw run now. This looks like another puppet. Locked. Maybe I could find the key. What's this shape all about? Okay, so key with a circle. You can put any favorite condiments on your toothbrush. I choose Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Get every single part of the cover and scrub the Worcestershire sauce. Okay. I'm a craft monster. <laughs> you give me a task and I'll give you a craft. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself something to make shapes out of. There's something there. <laughs> oh, is this a puppet? Then the yeah. butt parts. Then I stopped her face. Then we started laughing at each other and everything was okay. First, I beat her to the ground. Then I stomped on her face. But it's okay, because we all just laughed in the end. <laughs> Left button to swing the range. Hiya! yeah! Can we break it? No. What is that noise? Ah! Ah! A diamond. Let's uh, heal. Hmm. Consider seeking asthma treatment. You should get more exercise. <laughs> Have a smiling day. There you are. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? What? Your name? Your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. <laughs> nom de it's plume. Gordon. Gordon? <laughs> what a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. 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 Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. <laughs> I was looking for it all over the place. Wow. <laughs> Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that okay. crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all I- <coughs> What was that? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> okay, let's do this. He's such a weird sock. Where did the other one come from? Um, um, how do I? I wonder what happens when I Learn your alphabet, huh? Piching. Learn your alphabet. Hank's invent uh, inventor diary, uh, the 16th of the 4th, 69. I finally, 69, <laughs> I finally got it working, it's a real beaut. I think I'll call it the stenographer because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give someone a clonk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. I think. Okay. Bye. Oh! Oh! I forgot about her. I'm still there in the morning. Bitch. Can I hit this? Nice. Okay, let's see what these doors hold. Wow. This must be one of the old sets. There's a dude up there. Damn, this is quite a big set. <gasps> Key! Key. What key is it? Oh, 
They are so weird. Like, are they just possessed or? When I'm angry, I feast upon the tears of my enemies. Is that Pearl? Why does she look so sad? Oh. Elena. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh. She sounds so sad. Look at her feet. Two shots. How do I? That one completes. But, dude, you could easily come over there. You're a grown adult. Uh, just don't stand on me, please. She's a bit blind, doesn't she? No ah! <laughs> Quite a bird. No! Why would you put a latch all the way up there? I knew that I would have come this way first. Because at least Pearl doesn't seem to be a threat to us, which is good. Key! Oh, it's a square key! Is there something else? Space can! So... Okay, so this is all clear. The flower... Ooh, the square key is there in the flower shop. This still needs to be done. And then we need to explore this area over here. <laughs> the friendly neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, we didn't exactly receive the most friendliest of welcomes. Bye! Detour. <gasps> Mushroom! Well, I'll be thinking about you. <laughs> Weird ass puppets. This is why I do not like puppets. Oh, these things take forever to shoot down. Square door. Okay, and I want to reset this guy just yet. Let's see what's this side. Pepperoni. Okay, and we can go through there as well. What's down here? Also a door. you up. Okay, so what is this way? Ooh, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. He's twitching. He's a twitching. Oh, shit. That's so creepy. Is there anything else? No. Oh! Oh! Jeez. Stupid puppet. Is there anything else? No. Oh. 
Stupid, 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 stupid. Okay. Um, is that everything? No. Oh, does that mean we've got to get him out of the tub? <sighs> yeah, I thought I so. What happened. <gasps> sea for ceiling. <gasps> it was right here on the floor. Mm. I stamped! I stamped his face! <laughs> He's just chilling. Neighbor. Bye bye. Okay, what is this? A letter that came out of the little machine from Norman to Liliana. Should we then post it? Crank! Maybe this unlocks a different part of the studio. So we heal. We're healed. We're saved. I want to see if I can get that achievement now before. Oh, this is it up. It's time to fix! Or maybe time to leave? You know, I could just leave now. Let's see what it does. It obviously ends the game, but I want to see what it does. Like stuff at this job ain't worth it. I'll find another one. I'll just go do something else. The next day I got called into the office because the network wasn't happy. Wanted to know why I hadn't finished the job. After a big, long fight, I got fired. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be unemployed than have to go back there. But for the next few months, I actually started watching the nightly news. I don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to see what happened. But nothing happened. Then at some point, I got distracted and forgot about it. So if nothing happened, that means they never send somebody else to go do the job he didn't do or finish. So the news just kept, all the programs just kept getting television asked over. Hey, I finished with an S! <laughs> Only because I didn't actually play the full game. <laughs> When you just came on normal or harder with an S rank. So that's how you get those achievements. I thought, damn, you're going to have to be a damn good player to actually finish the game on S. But I guess this is how you do it. <laughs> okay, so now that we're back and uh, I've gotten a lot more achievements than what I initially expected, I wonder if there's snacks in the lobby like you said. <gasps> he actually did give snacks. Aww. <laughs> Find Ricky snackaroos. Aww. Ooh, it's so lit up with arrows. <laughs> Secret entrance. Shh. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a secret entrance. Right? Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh, crank! I left it in the save room. <laughs> I put it away because I didn't think we were going to need it. <sighs> Let's try this again, shall we? There we go. A, B, C, one, two, three. Shut up. <laughs> oh, it is an actual tunnel. Is 
Is he gonna pop out of one of the pipes? Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? Down the roof. here's much the roof. more intriguing. The roof Must is on fire. Unrelated. How do you feel about blood force head trauma? Excuse what me? is it this time? <laughs> well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Nice. Wait, are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. <laughs> wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Sure. Is he gonna, like, tamper with the Stupid elevator? Puppets. Is he gonna tamper so that I can't leave with the elevator? Ray's fixings. You know, some but I cannot see my screen entirely because of you so what is should we be going in here first the city tribune friday 4th 1972 war is over after 20 years of fighting the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent called the war of horrors the conflict which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest resulted in almost 100,000 casualties unlike previous homecomings veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed in his reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home but in the eyes of the public helping to perpetrate those horrors. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Hmm. Interesting. Where does this even go? Clankering and a clobbering. Why does this feel like it just brought me out to the no another side of the same place? Whoa! Uh, I don't know if I should tape them. So difficult to choose which puppets you want to tape. City Tribune, Thursday, August 16, 1973. So this is a year after the previous one we just read. Puppets Pirates Cove, a triumph for the family by Richard Lightsbury, 4 out of 5 stars. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Joswold's pre uh, precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theatre in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, uh, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend Ricky to... Continued on E4. Just gonna close you right up. Don't know what that was. Ah! Okay. <gasps> Ooh! The novelist? Let's get writing. Press 3 to swap to the novelist. <laughs> Let's get writing. Oh, I've only got two for this. What's this? The Mystic Maze. Dial spins along platform B left or right. Why do I feel like this would be important? I'm gonna just take a. F I. 
Is that a door? Yeah. What's this? To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combina combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Okay. Ooh! Uh, ah. Looks like it needs power. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. And I want to go the Stop, let's fix. I don't want to go there and he bonks me on the head or something. There you go. Oh! 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 Jeez, that gave me a scare. <laughs> what was that? Hi! Hello! I want a plushie like that. Is that it? No. Oh. Oh. That's why it doesn't want to plug. You need something else? Boy, do I have just a thing for you. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> when you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, hey! This now. Ta da! Okay, so we need to stamp letters. So, how would we. Oh no, so the square. Okay, now I get it. So the square moves two. No, but that moves three. Hang on. I am so confused. So. Square moves you two to the to the right. Triangle moves you one to the left. Circle moves you six to the right. Okay. Now I get it. Six to two. Yeah, there we go. I think my brain was just overthinking that one way too much. So it's plus two, plus two, minus one. Got it. There we go. I should probably heal. Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. We're in here now. The City Tribune, Tuesday, June 17, 1975. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals, morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, You should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? Yeah, I mean, that can come off as wrong. What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can, so I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous, self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on she'll watch something else. Yeah, they didn't think that one through. This literally camouflages to the floor. Because that's not a healthy thing, because... Um... What if a stranger or something takes advantage of that with your kid? 
I'm like, well, you know, literal imagination, right? You, you, I'm sure you can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so this area is complete. We are healthy. Let's see. Um, let's get my bunnies. I feel like you're gonna wake up at some point. There's an electronic batch. What was that? Was that here? everyone someone keeps taking a break is that you, you used to open these doors so i put them in those lock boxes around the basement here's a map of where they are in case you need to get the through Jonah to hang it's right <laughs> okay oh so that's those boxes strange kind of breaker box yeah that is a bit of a weird breaker box it's like it opens these doors i don't trust you Okay, yeah, so those are those boxes. Okay. Okay. We're gonna tape you guys up. Hey, hey, hey! I knew it. Where are you? Damn it! Asshole. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about taping you up though, because once I'm done here, I'm not coming back. Okay, done. <laughs> He's giggling so creepily to himself. Great. It was. I was just about to say. Asshole! I didn't even see him. And then save. So that is it for this episode. I had so much fun playing this. I I didn't realize I was gonna have this much fun. Like when I was watching others play it here, uh, you know. I didn't watch them fully play the game, I'd put it on in the background and, you know, just for some background noise, but the pieces that I watched, I was like, oh, it does look fun, you know, but I didn't think I'd end up having this much fun playing and shooting down a bunch of puppets and listening to their ramblings. It's absolutely such a fun game, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and I wish I could play further and play some more and record some more. Uh, but unfortunately I can't um, but I cannot wait to play it further I really cannot and if you guys also want to go give it a try it is on Steam I do link the games um, link in the description but for for now that is it so if you like the video hit the like button below and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my channel and I will see you guys around and I'll see you guys definitely in the next video bye